how to how to get manage or get rid of our sadness Laram Pache Jimmy Children is asking that question how to get rid of our sadness I think the moment we are in the state of the sadness it's already too late to solve that particular matter because the conclusion and the result of following the illusion of the mind combined together with ignorance and the ego you know comes down to you know great sadness and disappointment you know so therefore i think uh, if you are already you know with the great sadness due to some difficulties and i think it's already too late regarding that particular moment or that particular event but the future the different sadness that may come gradually you know that you can overcome more easily with a better understanding about your own mind you know because you know in this world you know all of us you know as a practitioner or non-practitioner nobody want to have a sadness in their mind or in their life nobody want to be betrayed by other people but yet we get betrayed and get misused and taken advantage or we lose our loved ones from our family members you know so there's a many stage, stages of uh, sadness in our life and to get rid of the sadness it's not something that we pick and choose one particular sadness that we want to feel and one particular sadness we don't want to feel we cannot get to choose which in which you know event in our life that we can get to choose that you know oh i want to be sad in this moment and i don't want to be sad in this kind of moment we could, we don't get to choose i think that's the most important you need to understand you know and you also should not view into the life as uh, everything is sadness and everything is a uh, uh, negative karma and so on and so forth you have to remain positive I think that's the most important. Remain optimistic and remain positive as much as possible. Because the moment you start to be negative and the moment you start to, you know, judge everything by its cover from the beginning, then you will be alone with a sense of paranoia in your whole life. You know, so therefore, I think the most important that you need to have is examining your emotion. I think it's the most important matter. Because we don't get to choose when to when we want to be sad and when we don't want to be sad and which kind of an event that we prefer to be more sad or less sad, we don't get to choose. So the most important we need to understand is that we need to understand our emotion, examine our emotion, examine our ego and ignorance and don't say that our ego and ignorance is there due to the accumulation of the negative karma of our eons and eons of our, of our lifetime. If you try to exaggerate uh, too much and then um, you will never overcome with a realistic approach. So have to be a realistic approach towards your own emotions and examining it gradually by not giving the excuse of good karma or bad karma, but rather embracing yourself and encouraging yourself by understanding of the good and bad karma. And then at the same time, you know, examining our emotion is the most important matter. All the sadness that we have already been through, that cannot change again. What we can change is the, all the suffering that is bound to come, that is going to come, if we continue in this current habit, if we continue with this current attitude. So therefore, in, all, in, in order to avoid and to minimize the future suffering, we have to examine our emotion. That's the most important matter. When you examine your emotion, you should not say, I have a bad karma or I have a good karma with the arrogance or with the ignorance. You should rather examine the emotion as it is and understanding the consequence of uh, having a lack of awareness and having a lack of understanding, you know, of the, the, the nature of the mind. And due to that, there's a state of the ignorance and there's a state of the, how do I say, the illusion and arrogance combined together with the self-righteousness attitude. And then, you know, all the, the cycle of suffering starts again and again. 
So, so therefore, you need to have that kind of a broader understanding towards the emotion rather than blaming or making excuse towards it.